आसा महला पंचमा अपुष्ट बात ते पई सिदरी दूत दुष्ट सजनई अंधकार मह रतन प्रगस्यो मलीन बुद्ध हच नई जो कृपा गोविंद पई सुख संपत हर नाम फल पाई सतगुरु मिलई रहाओ मोह कृपन को कोई न जानत सगल पवन प्रगटई संग बैठनो कही न पावत हुन सगल चरण सेवई आड आड को फिरत ढूंढते मानु सगल तृष्ण बुझ गई एक बोल पी खबतो नाही साध संगत सीत लई एक जी गुण कवन वखाने अगम अगम अगमई दास 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 को करियो जन नानक हर शरणई ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਦੇ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਵਿਚ ਯੂ ਆਲ ਵਰ ਲਿਸਨਿੰਗ ਇਸ ਫਰਮ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਵਿਚ ਮੀਨਸ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਬਲੈਸਿੰਗਸ ਆਫ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਵੈਨ ਵੀ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਫਾਲੋਇੰਗ ਦ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲ ਪਾਥ ਵੀ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਪੀਸ ਵੈਲਥ ਐਂਡ ਪ੍ਰੋਸਪੈਰਿਟੀ ਐਟ ਮੰਗਲ ਮਾਰਗ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਵਰਕਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਹੋਲਿਸਟਿਕ ਟਰਾਂਸਫਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਵਿਚ ਕਵਰਸ ਆਲ ਐਸਪੈਕਟਸ ਆਫ ਲਾਈਫ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਕਲ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਐਂਡ ਸਪਿਰਚੁਅਲ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਵੀਡੀਓ I want to introduce to you someone who has undergone this transformation in a very brief period during her stay at our center. I'm pleased to introduce her and bring forth her transformational journey which hopefully will inspire many people around the world. Wahguru ji ka khalsa Wahguru ji ki fateh. The lady sitting next to me is Jayate Kaur, formerly known by her name Dia De Domani. Let's find out from her about her transformation journey from Dio De Domani to Jayate Kaur. So Jayate Kaur, let's start from the beginning. What prompted you to follow this path of Sikhism? <laughs> Thank you, Amitosh. I grew up on a farm in Africa, in South Africa actually. Uh, I went to school and studied after school. Then as life takes us, we all get involved in a hectic schedule on the rat race in the rat race um uh, in the corporate industry and i got to a point where i was totally burned out around 2012 2013 mm. and i started my search i wanted to start another life in 2016 i was very fortunate to meet a gentleman karman is his name uh, in cape town south africa which then became my counselor at that stage i had no clue what sikhism was I didn't know he was a Sikh. He was wearing a little turban. I had no clue. But as our friendship grew and as the counseling went and as his guidance assisted me over the last 4 years, I just could not believe this guy's selfless service and his dedication to me, wanting nothing, just helping me to get on the right path and helping me to get out of this dark hole that I was in. And um through the process his selfless service and his strong firm faith in God and his guru um which at that stage from the western world sounded uh, like a <laughs> amazing um thing to have and um I I couldn't believe it and I actually promised him that because of all his service he's done for me I will come to India and I will take him on a pilgrimage yeah. I will join him on a pilgrimage and that is how i landed in india and um therefore i started with him and visited all the five takas so the main thrones the five thrones of god in sikhism and as i went through the process and seen many many good warriors i started learning about the rich history of the sikh people the amazing strong faith they have the deep deep value system and the selfless service they offer to the world and there i got hooked in that's very heartening to learn So you uh, probably might be the first South African to visit all the five takas maybe. I'm sure I am. Yes. Yeah. So how did you land up in Anandpur Sahib? I mean it was an interesting story. I was at Azur Sahib in Nander in the south of India and I had a message from Guru Gobind Singh that I needed to come 
back to Anandpur Sahib where I were in January. Mm. I then um, proceeded to come by bus from Delhi and on the bus I met two Sikh gentlemen. As through my whole journey I've had all these saints that was always guiding me and these two gentlemen said to me but I'm sure you're coming to Hola Mahala festival and um, I said no I'm not because there's no accommodation in Anandpur Sahib at this time. I'm only coming for three days and I'm leaving. And they convinced me to find accommodation in um, Anandpur Sahib and stay for Hola Mahala. And thereby, I, by the second day, went to the Tucket accommodation and asked. I knew it was a crazy question because I knew 600,000 people were arriving for the festival. There was no place in Anandpur Sahib. But the gentleman guided me into the main office where I met a gentleman that was also waiting for accommodation and he said to me, sure, what are you doing here? And I said, well, I'm looking for a room. He said, let me phone somebody. And he phoned you. Up until today, (laughs) nobody knows who the gentleman is. And I landed, um, I phoned uh, to you, he phoned you, Amitoj, and two days later I arrived at Mangalmark and um, that's where my journey started. That means you are destined to be here. Definitely, <laughs> definitely seem to be here. So you have been here since Ola Mahala, which was in March, and you have experienced a lot many things. I want you to share with the viewers about your experience during your stay. Amitosh, I am, um, as you can remember, I landed here for three days for Ola Mahala, and blessed as we all were, a lockdown happened, and <laughs> I'm still here with you. <laughs> So my first experience of arriving at um, Mangamag was amazing. I remember coming into the property and seeing flowers everywhere. Yeah, that was probably the time of uh, the full bloom when the flowers were at their full bloom. Absolutely, it yeah. was beautiful. And the first thought that went through my mind was, Guru placed flowers at my feet. Am I not blessed to be here? And um, the things that really impressed me from being here is the family environment that I was immediately drawn into and made part of your family. I was also surprised to find 10 children that was staying on the property and schooled and groomed by Singh Sahib Ji and yourself. They taught me quite a lot of Punjabi words. Uh, They taught me the Sikh martial arts, Gatka. And I had a lot of fun with them before they all left on holiday. And there were just more and more surprises. I then learned that you do Ayurvedic treatments. I've been involved in assisting you. I've been t- t- took some training from you. I've also been the most precious thing that I can say that happened to me here, which I haven't mentioned to you yet, is every morning when we do the morning prayers, I'm very privileged to go into the holy room with you and take the holy grunts and open the book and do the morning prayers. And then also I've had lots of counseling from you into Sikhism, a lot of questions and things that was, um, because this is a big C. This is a very big C that I don't think I could ever know everything. So I was just taking the first drops and then also had one-on-one counseling with Singh Saib. And Singh Saib helped me and assisted me um, through choosing my name from the Holy Grant ceremony for me and um, then also taking me to the next step which is a very high level in Sikhism and that's taking Amrit or being initiated or baptized into Sikhism. So I've been very fortunate to experience that. I want to add something for my viewers here. While we were performing the naming ceremony, we got Hukam Nama from Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Jitpar Bram Chit Aya, So Kar Vasaya. So as for the Sikhism, we named the person from the first letter of the Hukam Nama which was J. So we discussed few names with her and eventually decided on Jai Tekar, which means Hail the Victory of Supreme Power. Is that so? Absolutely. Yeah, great. <laughs> so, moving ahead. Now that you have changed the name, you have started tying the turban and also you have taken the blessing of Amrit. So, what change do you feel in your life after all this? Wow, my Taj. That's a very big question. Um, thanks to your beautiful wife, she taught me how to tie my turbans and did the first few days for me. And the experience of just wearing a turban, if you've never worn one, feels like God's hands are placed on your head. It's the most surreal feeling. Yeah. Absolutely. And um, after that, uh, I decided to take Amrit. The experience there was that I counseled with your dad, Singh Saib, 
quite a few times before I took the big step because I knew that it was the ocean ahead of me and I was literally taking the first drop. It's my new start, it's a lot of new things to learn. And in the ceremony I was very blessed that during lockdown, when they did the first ceremony since lockdown, I was very blessed to be present there. And wow, the feeling. I could feel Guru Gobind Singh touching my heart during the Amrit ceremony yeah. where you are given the holy nectar to drink and sprinkled on you. It's an unbelievable feeling. I also, during the process, being in in the hall with another 30 people, I would say, um, amazingly, a little lady landed next to me that spoke fluently English. Another saint was placed. So a few of the rituals, she could actually just assist me to help me through it. So I've always been guided. Um, and now my journey forward after this Definitely I need to learn Punjabi is the first thing and the next thing would definitely be to be able to read the Holy Quran. So, uh, I just want to ask something from you that uh, generally there is a little bit fear or I must say this misunderstanding that I won't be able to perform the duties, the, uh, the daily routines, the prayers after taking Amrit so people move away from it. They don't, they don't, I mean, decide to take Amrit, that I won't be able to perform the duties. So how did you make up your mind that, no, I'm not going to listen to those thoughts, those fears. I will definitely take up Amrit and I will do it. When Singh Sahib counseled me and said to me that he's watched me over the last three months, living with you guys and living um, the Sikh way, that I'm already there and um, during the morning prayers I was anyway doing it with you in the mornings yeah. and all I had to do was then start listening and I was very concerned because I wasn't able to read the prayers myself um, but I listen to them now and slowly but surely I've taken uh, from the obviously taken from the internet the words and I'm trying to repeat it with um, the grantee as he reads it. So yes, it's a slow process, but um, it was not as daunting as what I thought. I was already doing quite a lot of things. I was already wearing kara and now I'm wearing all the other in my kirpan. So yes, it's um, a few adjustments, but it's not as daunting as what I thought. It's actually an amazing journey and the power that has been instilled in me now and the changes of my spiritual growth and it feels like a flower, that a, a flower has just started blooming. My heart has opened up even further and even more and I understand now why I see people do so much selfless service to the community. It is in them. It's not that they even try. It's in you. It's in Amrit puts it into you. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable feeling. I want to tell something to the people who makes excuses that they are not capable of uh, following the sick path or they cannot perform the duties or that Amrit limits them. She is a living example. That when you dedicate your life or when you surrender to Guru Sahib, your life can change. If her life can change, then yours also. So, last but not the least, now after all this transformation, what is your vision for the future? I'm a Torah firstly for myself. I'm going to learn Punjabi. Okay. And um, I'm already involved in the community at the moment. Uh, I want to do some more community service. I love animals unlimitedly. So I want to get involved with um, animal care specifically in Anandpur Sahib, because I love this town. I want to transfer my skill set, um, art, crafts, management, and um, most of all, I want to inspire many other people into the path of Sikhism. I want to teach generosity, selfless service, humanity, humility, and spirituality. Yeah. And I would like to be involved in Mangal Mart going forward. So, Ms. Jaitekar, from the bottom of my heart, I want to tell you that we are pleased to have you here and feel humbled to share our knowledge with you. I hope this conversation has ignited a spark in your heart that a positive change can occur in everyone's life at any moment. While Ms. Jatekor has undergone transformation in her life, I want to tell you all that we respect 
all religions, culture, and belief. Our only aim is to help you and guide you to obtain a spiritual bliss. Feel free to contact us at Mangal Mark and find out how it can benefit you. Please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel and leave the suggestions or questions if you have any in the comment box. And I also request you to please follow the blog of Ms. Jateko to know more about her journey. Thank you very much. Wahe Gurdjika Khalsa, Wahe Gurdjiki Fateh.